Okay, everyone, we're going to go into the, um, the thighs and the legs. Remember, when you order thighs and legs at a chicken place, it's a darker meat. It's sweet. A little more fat there, which is good. I like that, actually. I enjoy the thighs and the legs. Uh, a lot of people do. Um, it's a sweeter meat. But um, let's talk about what's there. Anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about, and I need you to remember this because it's important. We have the quadriceps. The quadriceps of the leg. And I want to talk about that. The vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, the vastus intermedius, and the rectus femoris. So, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medius, and then the rectus femoris. These, these are your quads. And they're the, one of the largest muscles. Actually, they're one of the largest. What's the largest muscle of the body? The gluteus maximus. And we didn't talk about that yet, but we will. Uh, the gluteus maximus, the gluteus minimus, your, your, your butt muscles, those are the largest muscles of your body. Uh, and the nerve that goes through it is the celiac nerve. That's the largest nerve of the body. Not the longest nerve, the largest nerve. It has a lot of, a lot of thickness to it. Okay, the celiac, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the, the sciatic nerve, not the celiac nerve, the sciatic nerve. And this is where we have a, the largest nerves uh, going through your gluteus maximus and minimus. Anyway, um, when we go down the, uh, the leg, those are the four predominant muscles of the leg. Now, there's something called the saltorius muscle. And this is, as you can see, it goes straight across like this. It goes from the top of the top of the of the hip down all the way down across to your knee. It's the longest muscle of your body. It's called the saltorius muscle, uh, the saltorius muscle right there. And you can see it. It's what it's goes, it goes diagonally straight across. And uh, let me see if I can get better pictures here for you. So this is your saltorius, and as you can see, it goes all the way from the from the iliac crest. And it goes all the way down to the knee. It's one of the longest muscles of the body. Okay? Not the strongest muscle, just the longest muscle of the body. And um, then you have these muscles, the uh, adductor magnus, the adductor longus, the adductor brevis. When you talk about magnus, they're, they're large. When you talk about longus, they're long. When you talk about brevis, they're short. Okay? And the gracilis and the pectineus, these are just additional uh, uh, muscles. There. And then, by the way, the, 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 the gracilis and the pectineus, the, those are part of the Kegels as well. You can, uh, you can work on those as well. And uh, here is your muscles from the cross. Here is your list, your, your, your chart for it. It talks about it uh, uh, in, uh, in a very, uh, very exact manner, talking about what innervates it. Now remember something, when it comes to the nerves that innervate the leg, the knee we use that as L4, which means the knee's nerve, uh, the, the spinal cord nerve of L4 travels down and it hits the knee cap. So anytime that you have anything going on in your knee that ha has a shooting pain that radiates down, that's, your, that's, your, that's from your back and that could be a L, that's an L4 nerve, okay? Uh, and uh, these kind of, all of these nerves, all, all of these muscles here help out in the adduction and abduction of the of the hip okay and all of this also includes the grass the uh, the gluteus maximus and minimus always that whenever you're using the hip muscle no matter which one you're using you're using it to abduct or 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 or, or, or uh, extend or flex it, the the gluteus is involved okay either it's a primary or a secondary muscle but they're always involved Okay, and um, and here is your here is your uh, abductor brevis longus mag, uh, magnus, uh, and you can see how they are very short, small muscles. Um, 
And here are you, and here is the movement C rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medius, vastus intermedius. These are your quadriceps. Don't forget that. The quadriceps. Now in the back of the leg, it's gonna be different. Instead of saying rectus femoris, you're gonna say biceps femoris. So B for back, biceps femoris for the back of the leg, the hamstrings. And the other two hamstrings are uh, uh, semi-membranous, uh, semi-membranosis uh, and semi-tendinosis, okay? So those are, the th those are the three hamstrings of the back of the, uh, of the leg. So you have your biceps femoris, your semi-membranosis, your semi-tendinosis. Those are your back of your leg, okay? So uh, when you look at that, you must remember that, okay? Please, you, you, you'll have a better time understanding it if you do that. And, um, uh, and you see, see now the joints of the thigh, the gluteus maximus, the gluteus minimus, the gluteus medius, the piriformis, the obturador external, obturador internal, and the helmelius. These are all about move, your, your butt area and, your, and, your, and your, uh, your leg going down. So it helps adduct and, and, and adduct and abduct your, your, your leg. It's part of that. So, and and uh, remember, the gluteus maximus is the primary guy, the primary mover. All the rest of them are synergistic. Okay, so, uh, and here is your gluteus maximus, and here is your adductor magnus, your gracilis muscles right there, and the iliotibial tract. Do you know that the iliotibial uh, tract is, is a long uh, 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 tendon? And it goes right across from your knee up to your, up to your, uh, your gluteus maximus muscle. It goes all the way up and down. That's a very painful. When you try to stretch that, you put a rubber ball against it or, or a cushion against it, and you roll against it. Ooh, does that hurt. Uh, that's that tendon right there. It's a, it's, it's a tough one. The iliotibial tract or the iliotibial tendon. It's, it hurts. That's a hurt. That hurts a lot. Uh, there goes your semi-membranosis. Your semi-tendinosis is the back of the leg, by the way. Your, your, your hamstrings. Okay. And um, here's your gluteus maximus. Whoa. Big muscle. Uh, gluteus minimus right underneath it. And here are your, your, all of your muscles and, and, and the chart. So read that chart. See the pattern. See the pattern that you have. And underneath the gluteus maximus, you have the gluteus minimus. The piriformis, the obturador external, the quadrus, the, the quadrotus femoris, the, and you see how the, all of those muscles have to do with the movement. It's right underneath the gluteus maximus. There are all those in those that third layer of muscles, third and second layer of muscles. You understand, okay? So just remember there are layers. And there's that sciatic nerve. That's what I'm talking about. I called it the celiac nerve before. It's not the celiac nerve, sciatic nerve. Sorry about that. And um, uh, so, uh, so when you get to see the posterior part, this is the this is the uh, this is the uh, the hamstrings again. How you can see them. Uh, it's very important to understand it. Semi tendinosis. Remember, they're synergistic. They're the, they are the the hamstrings are the antagonists of the of the uh, quadriceps, you understand that? When you're making a movement of the quads, your, your, your hamstrings are going against those moves so you don't overextend them and you don't hurt yourself. Though some people do, right? Some people hurt those, uh, those, um, those hamstrings, let me tell you. Okay, when we get to the, when we get to the, uh, let me see, oh yeah, here we go. The act of the ankle and the foot. Um, here we go. The, uh, when we get to the foot, uh, the lower part of the knee, um, we're going to be talking about uh, the two muscles that I'm concerned about is the soleus muscle and the gastronomicus, which is also called the gemelos in Spanish, which means twins. And uh, those are part of the, uh, of, of the calf muscles. Those are the calf muscles. And what happens is the gastronomicus the, 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 the soleus is, is below, the gastronomicus is above, and that's what you see 
when a person has very large calves and right at the edge of, end of that calf extends down and that is the Achilles tendon uh, that extends down to the bone of the of the um, of your foot which is the calcaneus bone so let's see if we can see that okay so here we go with the front and here we go with the um, Okay, here we are. The soleus muscle and the gastronomicus muscle. Now they're showing you a lateral view. And here is the muscle right there. So let's just see if we can get a better view on that. I want to get that view. Here we go. And the, uh, the soleus and the gastronomicus. So uh, we want to see, as you can see, the extension of the, this tendon going down to the calcaneus bone up to the gastronomicus muscle right there and uh, that is a very very a very uh, strong very strong um, here it is right there the gastronomicus muscle it's a very strong muscle by the way some people don't have very large calves for some reason um, I don't have large calves I don't know why uh, my family are mostly runners so we don't really build up our calves very mo very much it's in our DNA we're more runners so it so it's more slender so that it can stretch better and um, we run we're runners not that I'm a runner now but uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's an important part I once hurt my um, my Achilles uh, my Achilles tendon it took me two years to heal, heal and why because there's no blood supply remember that okay and as we get more into the now the reason why I'm using an overhead and I usually don't use an overhead when I'm speaking it's muscle. I got to show you the muscle. I got to show you where it's at because it's so it's so hard to describe it to you um, when you're uh, when you're not uh, when, when you're just imagining it so you can see it. So uh, you know, knowing how this all works, going down to the muscle uh, and the bones of the foot and uh, extending it out. These are the muscles of the of uh, of the foot. And uh, you know it, they're 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 important to know for people that are in uh, like I say into the um, the osteopathic route uh, uh, bones and joints and also uh, 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 um, uh, 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 occupational therapy and um, and um, physical therapy this is where it's at um, also massage therapy as well you got to know these things you got to know what muscles there are that are being you're massaging. Because, you know, it's important that you understand it. It's, it's your profession. So remember that. And, uh, and um, you know, look, it's, it's a whole bunch of tendons. Look at that. They're all over everywhere. And look, flexor halicus brevis. Remember the halicus, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's halicus is, is, the, is the thumb of the foot. Halicus is the thumb of the foot. So uh, as you can see there, so, you know, I mean, we can always go back into this, but I feel that if you just do your homework on this and understand how it works, you'll be able to figure this out. Remember, the words of the muscle are, are their names in a lot of the areas that are lower extremities, especially in the foot and in the hand. They have a lot of their own names based, their names say what they do and where they're located. Okay, so, uh, so um, just remember all that. That's... Also, that's um, uh, I don't know if we're going to be going through anything else with muscle, but uh, I will figure it out for you, and we'll just review it. So uh, that's it for the muscles so far. I'll get back to you again. See you later.